Rattlesnakes, belonging to the viper family, are widely recognized as one of the most venomous snake species globally. With a total of 36 known species, they can be found in almost every part of the continental United States, but are particularly abundant in the southwest region. These snakes are adaptable to various habitats, including forests, grasslands, scrub brush, swamps, and deserts, and they possess the ability to swim. Their diet consists of a diverse range of small mammals, with a preference for rats, mice, birds, rabbits, lizards, and frogs. The defining characteristic of rattlesnakes is their famous rattle, located at the tail's tip. This rattle serves two primary purposes, to caution potential threats to retreat and to distract prey. The distinct sound of the rattle is produced when the hollow and bony segments within the rattle collide creating a noise resembling that of a maraca. While rattlesnakes typically avoid human encounters, it is estimated that around 8,000 people in the United States are bitten by venomous snakes each year, resulting in approximately 10 to 15 deaths, according to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. In this video, we will explore the 10 most lethal rattlesnake species based on their venom toxicity concerning humans and their potential to cause fatalities within the human population at large. Number 10. Desert Massasauga Rattlesnake The Desert Massasauga Rattlesnake, scientifically known as Cestrurus tergeminus edwardsii, is one of the three subspecies of Massasauga. Its subspecific name, edwardsii, pays tribute to Colonel Dr. Louis A. Edwards, a U.S. Army surgeon. This rattlesnake is also referred to as Edwards Rattlesnake or Edwards Massasauga. Historically, the desert Massasauga rattlesnake inhabited an extensive range from northern Mexico to eastern Colorado. On average, it measures between 1.5 to 2 feet in length. The desert Massasauga rattlesnake displays a color pattern characterized by a light gray or white base color adorned with dark gray or gray-brown blotches. It predominantly resides in rocky and semi-arid environments. As a nocturnal species, it conducts the majority of its hunting activities during the night. While occasional sightings of this snake basking in sunlight during the day are possible, its natural habitat tends to be excessively hot for it to venture out in the open. The venom of the desert Massasauga rattlesnake consists of a potent blend of cytotoxins. Despite being more potent than the venom of many larger rattlesnake species, the yield of venom from this particular snake is relatively low. Consequently, the potential for fatalities resulting from its venom is significantly reduced. However, it is important to note that the Massasauga's venom is a powerful cytotoxic substance, capable of causing swelling, necrosis, skin damage, and intense pain. Number 9. Banded Rock Rattlesnake The Banded Rock Rattlesnake, scientifically known as Crotalus lepidus clobberi, is named in honor of the renowned herpetologist Lawrence Monroe Clobber. It is also commonly referred to as the green rock rattlesnake or green rattlesnake. This species is indigenous to the southern regions of the United States and Mexico, with its habitat spanning from southeastern Arizona to western Texas and extending south through northern and central Mexico. On average, it measures between 1.5 to 2 feet in length. The banded rock rattlesnake typically exhibits a grayish coloration with distinctive dark bands, although it can occasionally display pinkish or greenish hues. Its activity patterns vary depending on the seasons. During the spring and fall, it is predominantly crepuscular, meaning it is most active during dawn and dusk as nighttime temperatures begin to decline. However, in the summer months, when daytime temperatures reach intolerable highs, it becomes nocturnal and primarily active at night. Compared to the more well-known western diamondback rattler, banded rock rattlesnakes are generally more excitable. Their venom is estimated to be one to one and a half times more potent. However, the necrotic properties of their venom are considerably milder than that of diamondbacks, and the venom yield is also lower. While this species is not considered a significant threat to humans or livestock due to their remote habitats, it is important to note that they remain dangerous. They primarily reside in secluded areas that are inaccessible to the general public. The venom of the banded rock rattlesnake primarily consists of hematoxins and neurotoxins. Hematoxins affect the heart and cardiovascular system while neurotoxins target the brain and nervous system, causing paralysis in their prey. Number 8. Southern Pacific Rattlesnake The Southern Pacific Rattlesnake, scientifically referred to as Crotalus oreganus hilari, derives its subspecific name, hilari, 
In honor of American zoologist Edmund Heller, it is also commonly known as the black diamond rattlesnake or Pacific rattler. These snakes inhabit the southern region of California, ranging from Santa Barbara south into northern Baja California, Mexico. On average, they measure between 2 to 4.5 feet in length. The southern Pacific rattlesnake displays a light base color that varies from light gray to dark brown. Their backs feature dark-rimmed blotches with light bands in between them. Similar to other rattlesnake species, the southern Pacific rattlesnake leads a relatively sedentary lifestyle, spending about 90% of its life in an inactive state. When hungry, it becomes active during the darkness of night, relying heavily on its heat-sensing organs, forked tongue, and Jacobson's organ to locate and capture prey. As the weather cools in the fall, the snake enters a period of hibernation. The venom of southern Pacific rattlesnakes undergoes changes as they age. When young, their venom is less potent and does not efficiently digest prey. However, as they mature and require faster and harder to digest prey, their venom becomes stronger, adapting to the needs of hunting larger and different types of prey to satisfy their appetite. Their venom is composed of highly toxic substances known as myotoxins and hematoxins, which target the body's muscular skeletal system and blood, respectively. Consequently, their venom is often compared to that of the Mojave Green Rattlesnake in terms of its properties. The Southern Pacific Rattlesnake has earned the nickname People Biting Rattlesnake due to its prevalence in causing snake bites. Between Los Angeles and San Diego. Number 7. Tiger Rattlesnake the tiger rattlesnake, scientifically known as Crotalus tigris, is also recognized as a tiger rattler. This species is endemic to the southwestern United States and parts of northwest Mexico. On average, they measure between 2 to 3 feet in length. The tiger rattlesnake can be easily distinguished by its small, spade-shaped head, which is the smallest among all rattlesnake species, as well as its large rattle. The color pattern of the tiger rattlesnake encompasses a range of gray, lavender, blue-gray, pink, or buff hues. The ground color typically transitions to pink, pale orange, or cream on the sides. The snake's body features cross bands that extend along its entire length, resembling tiger stripes. Tiger rattlesnakes are solitary creatures and tend to prefer spending their time alone. They exhibit nocturnal behavior during the hot summer months, June to August, but become active during the daytime and at dawn and dusk diurnal and crepuscular, during the fall season. They enter a hibernation period in late fall and winter, seeking refuge in rock crevices or animal burrows. Among all rattlesnake venoms, the venom of the tiger rattlesnake is considered one of the most harmful to humans. It consists of a potent mixture of neurotoxins and myotoxins, which can induce paralysis and tissue damage. Despite having a relatively low venom yield, its toxicity is ranked as the second highest among all rattlesnake venoms and the second highest among all snakes in the Western Hemisphere. Therefore, any tiger rattlesnake bite should be treated as a life-threatening medical emergency. Number 6. Massasauga Rattlesnake the Massasauga rattlesnake, also known as the Eastern Massasauga and Massasauga rattler, is one of the three subspecies of Massasauga, along with the Western Massasauga and Desert Massasauga. These snakes are primarily found in Central and Eastern North America, ranging from Southern Ontario in Canada to various parts of the Midwestern and Eastern United States. On average, they measure between 2 to 2.5 feet in length. The Massasauga rattlesnake can be identified by its triangular head and tail that terminates in a small rattle, producing a buzzing sound when shaken. Its body coloration ranges from gray to dark brown, featuring darker brown butterfly or saddle-shaped blotches along the back, with alternating blotches along the sides. Unlike other snakes in Ontario, it possesses a vertical pupil instead of a round one. These rattlesnakes inhabit a variety of habitats, including tall grass prairies, bogs, marshes, shorelines, forests, and all vars. They require open areas to bask in the sun and hibernate underground in crevices within bedrock, sphagnum swamps, tree root cavities, and animal burrows, ensuring they are below the frost line but above the water table. Eastern Massasaugas being the only venomous snake in Michigan, are generally timid creatures that avoid human encounters whenever possible. Their venom is cytotoxic, 
causing tissue destruction. Additionally, it contains specialized digestive enzymes that disrupt blood flow and hinder blood clotting. The severe internal bleeding caused by their venom results in the death of the small animals that the snake preys upon. Only two cases of fatalities from Massasauga rattlesnake bites have been recorded in Ontario, both due to a lack of proper treatment for the victims. Number 5. Neotropical Rattlesnake the Middle American Rattlesnake, scientifically known as Crotalus simus, is also referred to as the Central American Rattlesnake and Yucatan Neotropical Rattlesnake. This species can be found in Central America, ranging from Mexico to Costa Rica. It is a large snake typically measuring around 5 to 6 feet in length on average, characterized by a robust body, a relatively small head that blends seamlessly with the neck, a round snout, and a noticeable spinal crest along the first third of its body. The Middle American Rattlesnake possesses strongly keeled and protruding dorsal scales, giving it a rough texture. Its coloration varies from a light brown to cream base, adorned with dark rhomboidal designs on its back. These rattlesnakes are crepuscular, meaning they are most active during twilight hours. They primarily feed on rodents, lizards, and small birds. They exhibit impressive climbing and swimming abilities to capture their prey. Generally, they are not particularly aggressive unless provoked. The Middle American rattlesnake possesses a highly potent venom composed of both hematoxins and neurotoxins. The combination of these toxins unleashes a devastating assault on an individual's blood supply, nerves, and nerve tissue. It is noteworthy that approximately 75% of individuals bitten by the neotropical rattlesnake will succumb to its venom without appropriate medical intervention. Additionally, it is worth mentioning that this species ranks as the second longest venomous snake in Mexico. Number 4. Timber Rattlesnake The timber rattlesnake, scientifically known as Crotalus horridus, is also referred to as the canebrake rattlesnake and banded rattlesnake. This species is endemic to eastern North America. It has an average size of 5 to 6 feet. The body coloration of the timber rattlesnake is highly variable but typically gray with a black tail. Other color variations may include yellow, tan, brown, pink, dark brown, or black. It is characterized by distinct black chevron-shaped crossbands that extend down its body. A rust-colored stripe is commonly seen down the center of its back. By late spring, the timber rattlesnake becomes active above ground and can be observed intermittently until the onset of cold weather in late fall. It is active during both day and night but spends the majority of its time coiled in ambush positions, ready to capture prey. Considered one of North America's most dangerous snakes, the timber rattlesnake possesses long fangs, an impressive size, and a high venom yield. Its venom is classified as a hematoxin, which means it aids in digesting prey by destroying tissue. When bitten, the skin around the bite typically swells and turns black, potentially sloughing off as the skin heals. Seeking prompt medical attention is crucial to minimize tissue damage if venom has been injected. The timber rattlesnake is widely regarded as one of the most hazardous species in North America and should be avoided by humans at all costs. Number 3. Western Diamondback Rattlesnake The Western Diamondback Rattlesnake scientifically known as Crotalus atrox, is also referred to as the Texas Diamondback and Arizona Diamond Rattlesnake. It is primarily found in the southwestern United States and Mexico. The average size of this species ranges from 5 to 7 feet. Characterized by its heavy body, the western diamondback rattlesnake has a triangular-shaped head. Two dark diagonal lines extend from its eyes to its jaws adding to its distinct appearance. Along its back, it features dark diamond-shaped patterns, while the tail exhibits black and white bands just above the rattles. During the hot daytime hours, diamondbacks often seek shelter by coiling in the shade of low-growing shrubs, piles of natural or artificial debris, or rocks. They may also utilize underground burrows of other animals. In the winter, they retreat into caves or similar locations to hibernate. The venom of the western diamondback rattlesnake is primarily hematoxic, affecting the blood vessels, blood cells, and the heart. Additionally, it contains cytotoxins and myotoxins that cause damage to cells and muscles further impacting the cardiovascular system. With its large venom glands and specialized fangs, this species is capable of delivering a significant amount of venom in a single bite. While severe envenomation is rare, it is possible and can be lethal. 
the mortality rate of untreated bites ranges between 10 and 20 percent. Number 2. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, scientifically known as Crotalus adamantius, is also referred to as the Eastern Diamondbacked Rattlesnake and Diamond Rattlesnake. This species is endemic to the southeastern United States, specifically found in the Pinelands of Florida, the coastal plains of North Carolina, and stretching from southern Mississippi through eastern Louisiana. It is recognized as one of the heaviest venomous snakes in the Americas and holds the title of the largest rattlesnake. With an average size ranging from 6 to 8.5 feet, eastern diamondback rattlesnakes exhibit a coloration that varies between blackish-brown, olive, or dusty gray. They feature dark brown to black diamond-shaped blotches bordered by narrow bands of white along their dorsal surface. The sides of their heads display two white oblique stripes, and their tails may exhibit ringed patterns of white and black. Crepuscular in nature, the diamondback is most active during the evenings and early mornings. While its primary activity occurs at ground level, it occasionally climbs a few feet into bushes in pursuit of prey. In regions with cold winters, diamondbacks hibernate in gopher tortoise or mammal burrows, hollow logs, stumps, or among tree roots. On warmer winter days, they may venture out of their resting sites to bask. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake possesses an extremely potent venom that carries a fatality rate of approximately 30% among those unfortunate enough to be bitten. This is partly due to the snake's massive fangs which deliver large amounts of venom in almost all bite cases. The venom contains a series of low molecular weight peptides and an enzyme called crotalase. It is known to cause intense hemorrhaging, muscular pain, weakness, low blood pressure, hypotension, vomiting, and stomach discomfort. Without prompt medical care, the venom can ultimately lead to cardiac arrest, resulting in death within a matter of hours. Number 1. Mojave Green Rattlesnake The Mojave Green Rattlesnake, scientifically known as Crotalus scutulatus, is also recognized as the Mojave Rattlesnake and Mojave Green. It is a highly venomous pit viper species found in the deserts of the southwestern United States and central Mexico. On average, these snakes measure around 4 to 4.5 feet in length. They possess a heavy body and a large triangular head. The coloration of Mojave green rattlesnakes varies, ranging from shades of brown to pale green, depending on their surroundings. The presence of a green hue among these rattlesnakes has led to them being commonly referred to as Mojave greens. In certain areas, they feature a dark diamond pattern along their back and a light postocular stripe that passes behind the corner of their mouth. Being nocturnal creatures, Mojave greens prefer to remain underground during the day, seeking refuge in burrows of other mammals or beneath rocks. On on cooler days, they may venture out to bask in the sun. During the winter months, they enter a brumation phase, residing in rat burrows where they experience a complete state of inactivity. Their metabolism slows down, and they rely solely on water during this period. The Mojave Green possesses a highly potent venom that contains toxins comparable to those found in many elipid species, such as the black mamba, king cobra, and inland taipan. Despite its potency, the symptoms of a bite from this species often take several hours to manifest, which can lead individuals to underestimate the severity of their injuries. Once symptoms arise, individuals experience a rapid decline in overall health, including vision problems, difficulty breathing and swallowing, and an inability to speak. Muscle weakness, pain, convulsions, and severe body pain may follow. Without prompt medical treatment, the neurotoxins in the venom can prove fatal, leading to cardiac arrest or respiratory failure. Two notable recorded deaths caused by the Mojave Green include Frederick Shannon in 1965 and Jackie Caldwell in 2007. And that concludes the 10 deadliest rattlesnakes in the world. Don't forget to click the subscribe, like, and share buttons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.